so now let na unbox ko na yung aking bagong Q10 mixer so let's compare this with my Hanabishi HPM 800 so yung unang napansin ko guys is yung control panel niya yung Kiowa has only up to 6 speeds while yung aking Hanabishi HPM 800 has up to 8 speeds so let's compare now um, kung maganda ba itong Kiowa stand mixer Alright guys, so the box comes with three attachments. So this one, it has the paddle attachment. It also have this one for the dough. And also the balloon whisk or wire whisk. So compare natin ito guys sa attachments ng Hanabishi HPM 800. So ito guys, compare ko lang. Medyo mas malaki ng konti yung balloon whisk or wire whisk ng QS10 mixer so konti lang naman yung difference and also the paddle attachments so ito yung yun, mas ma malaki din ng konti yung sa QA alright guys so comparing with the size of the bowl so, mas malaki guys yung bowl ng Kiwa stand mixer compared to my Hanabishi HPM 800. And also, sa box ng Kiwa guys, it only comes with one bowl while Hanabishi has two. Alright, ngayon naman guys, let's do um, performance test. So, I'm using Mona Lisa whipped cream to make an icing using this Kiwa stand mixer. So, bit lang natin, guys. So, it has been like 3 minutes na ang pagbibit ng Kiwa stand mixer sa ating icing. Pero, hindi pa siya ganun ka-stiff or hindi pa siya nag-stiff pick. Um, by the way, guys, when I use um, Hanabishi HPM 800, I normally get a stiff pick ano, icing in less than 3 minutes. Maybe because this Kiwa hand mixer, I mean stand mixer, is only um, 600 watts while Hanabishi HPM 800 is 800 watts so far guys it's now mga more or less 4 minutes I guess bago siya nag stiff pick yung icing so it's done and this is now how it looks alright sobrang ganda ng ating icing guys but again compared to Hanabishi guys uh, mas mabilis gumawa ng icing um, using Hanabishi HPM 800 compared to um, Kiwa. But again, maganda pa rin naman yung result ng ating icing. It's just, konti lang naman yung difference ng time. Alright guys, so on this pick naman guys, I'm showing you this. Um, by the way, sa mga questions, if kaya ba ni Kiwa stand mixer yung dough, the answer is yes. So far guys, sa paggawa namin ng cheese obi pandisal, uh, nakaya niya yung 500 grams na weight sa dough. So, hindi na namin dinagdagan pa like 1 kilo or more kasi hindi na niya baka hindi na kakayanin. And, basta guys, pag mag kayo, just set the mixer at the lowest speed. Alright guys, so to end this video, my comparison would be, so when it comes to icing guys, mas maganda gamitin si Hanabishi HPM 800 kasi mas mabilis mag stiff pick. Kasi nga 800 watts siya compared to Kiwa which is only 600 watts. But if for dough mixing guys, I suggest, ay, mas, for me, mas maganda gamitin si Kiwa stand mixer. Kasi yung bowl niya guys is bigger so it has 5 liter capacity while Hanabishi is only like 4.2 I guess. 
But if we are going to talk about quality guys, so for me guys, maganda na magamitin si Hanabishi. So I've been using Hanabishi stand mixer for 3 years now. And so far, uh, maganda siyang gamitin, especially for bold icing, because I'm a bold icing user. So hindi ako masyadong gumagamit ng stand mixer for dough. Minsan, minsan lang guys. So, hindi ko pa rin masabi guys, if maganda si Kiwa, kasi, uh, ka kabibili ko lang nito. So, but so far guys, um, maganda yung mga reviews niya from online shopping, like Lazada and Shopee, and also from different baking groups. Alright, so yun lang guys. Thank you so much for watching, and please subscribe if you are new to my channel. Alright, goodbye!